back to my channel this name madness is my today's video is based on topic one of paper one of bangladesh studies where we will be coming to know about the eight literary figures and what are the key points that we have to remember to write them in our answer so that we can get the marks that we actually deserve before starting the video or before proceeding further i would like to thank certain students like tasneem nawar tashfiq hosan who has requested me to make more videos based on paper one so this video is actually for you people and also do feel free to let me know in the comment section if you have any further problems plus at the same time i would also like to inform you that i have soon started my uh, online tuition so i'll be sharing my number in the description box you can find it out from there how to contact me and when are the days that i'm going and available i'm going to give my online tuitions at the same time those who haven't yet subscribed my channel please subscribe the channel this name madnesses as well as press the bell icon so that you can get the latest update of this channel at the beginning of the video i have already mentioned that this video is based on topic one of paper one we are going to know in details about the eight literary figures and what are the key points that we have to remember so that we can answer them so now here we start with the video or with the class topic one a so topic one a of paper one this is mostly based on eight literary figures of bangladesh so out this eight literary figures we will we'll be getting a question from this eight literary figures on question number 1 part b under where in part b roman 1 we will be asked to write about the life and work which contains five marks and secondly we have to write the importance that is an opinion based question which contains three marks so now we will look into details how we have to write the answer for this eight literary figures so we know there are total eight literary figures in our topic uh, as in our book uh, in the topic and this eight literary figure starts from alau second we have lalon shah third mir musharraf hussain fourth qazi nazrul islam begum rokia rovin ronat jago joshi muddin and zainu abedin so these are the eight literary figures which we have in our book and which we have to study we can't omit any one of them now from based on this eight literary figures a question will be coming on part b where we have to write the life and work and importance so among this eight literary figures i'm not going to discuss all of them i'll be just discussing only the two most important and the biggest one that is qazi nazrul islam and begum rokia so these are the two uh, literary figures which has which contains a lot of information as well as which also contains a lot of dates so i'm going to discuss only this two of them and the remaining six are uh, it will it will be a homework for you the way i'm going to discuss is kazi nozris now and begum rokia as well as solve the questions of life and work and importance part so the remaining six will be the homework for you you have exactly have to do the way i'll be doing kazino zriskam and ravindana thakur and you will be letting me know in the comment section or you can do them and uh, send me in the number that i'll be providing you in the uh, description box so the remaining six will be your homework the way i'll be solving this kazino zriskam and ravindana thakur okay we'll begin with ravindana thakur so we know the question format already so this is a part of question uh, 1b roman 1 where in Rome, in 1b roman 1 we will be asked to write about the life and work 
so this is about a uh, question number one b roman one where we will be asked to write about the life and work and this contains five marks where we need to collect five informations so these five informations could be based on so five informations which we have to complete within five to six minutes not more than that and this in and this uh, five informations could be based on one information from life four information from work or two information from life three information from work or three plus two four plus one it could be in this format now after going through the book information of Rabindranath Tagore if I am a student this is how I will first jot down all the points so first, the first task of us is to jot down all the points by going through the book, the informations which we have from the book, those are known as facts. The facts that are written on the book or mentioned on the book, we are going to collect those information and divide them in this way, life and work. Okay, so these are the informations which I have collected from the book, including life and work for this part of B Roman 1. Now, in life, I got this information, the timeline, 1861 to 1941. Then he was born uh, in Jora, uh, at Jorashanko in Kolkata. Then he had, uh, he had this homeschooling because he did not like the rules and regulations of the school. So he went for this homeschooling or he was taught at home. Then his family was a mixed culture atmosphere who has given preferences to both Indian as well as modern European literature. And for this reason, they have brought a change in the Bengali perspective or in the uh, minds of the Bengali culture that is known as Bengal Renaissance which is a change that they brought in the Bengali culture as they were mixed cultural atmosphere plus see all about his life or about his childhood you can find in his autobiographical sketch Amar Chalevela which is also a part of his work so Amar Chalevela is also a part of his work so you can mention that all about his life can be all about his story all about his childhood can be found in his autobiographical sketch Amar Chalevela so these are the life that I have informations of life that I have collected from the book that I found easy that I can remember and I can use them for the answer okay now if I move to work so these are the most easiest for information that I have collected from the uh, from his work that is the example so we have a number of examples in the books among those examples I have collected only these five of them because uh, from me these five of them are the easiest examples that I can remember so I'll be writing the answer in this way that he has written a number of uh, works or he has written a number of books or literatures including Maya Khela, Gitanjali, Kalpagucha, Shonar Tori and Ovila so you can choose amongst any of the five uh, names among your own choice or in your easiest way uh, easiest way and then the next information is establishment he established this shanti niketan university which is also known as vishwa bharati and international university so see i am only focusing on the work i directly wrote about the work i did not write anything in details of this work like what is golpugutsho why did he write golpugutsho why did he write ovilash or when did he write ovilash what is the shonaturi i did not write any details information about the work i have just mentioned what did he do what are the works that he has done so this is a direct question so i'm writing the direct answer he established the shanti niketan university which is also known as vishwa bharati or international university then his song amar shonar bangla is known as the national anthem of bangladesh he was an amateur painter and started painting at the age of 68 and he was inspired by river padma when he came here in bangladesh in selaida to look after the properties of his father from that time onwards he has seen the people he has seen the he has seen the livelihood of the people very closely so that is the reason why he started to write uh, his main focus was uh, his writing main focus was based on the real world rather than imagination so before coming into Silada, his work were based on imagination what he used to think what he used to imagine those are things that he used to focus on his writing but after coming into Silada and by uh, looking out uh, and by um, observing the people very closely he came to know that all what he has written or the people or the livelihood that or the living or the living strength that he led over this totally different from the people from this poverty from this uh, peasants from this farmer so that thus he started to write based on the real world so these are the life and work that i got from the book about robin Donald tagore now so among this 
I don't have to write all of them. Remember, I have to complete within five to six minutes. I only need to write five information. So what I will do, I'll go through this. I will go, I'll follow this format. So if I uh, suppose from this information, from life side, I have, I have, uh, I took this information that Rabindranath Tagore was born in 1861 and he passed away in 1941. So this is one information which I have collected from life. So from here, I'm going to collect any four of the information. Suppose I have taken this information, this information, this information and this information. So these are the four informations which I have taken and I'll basically get, I'll easily score 5 out of 5 or it could be other way like for example you have chosen this uh, 1861 to 1941 then you have chosen this one he was born at Jorashanko in Kolkata then from here you have chosen this three so you're getting five marks so it means that what you have to do for all the literary figures you have to divide the information for, uh, between life as well as work collect all the information jot down all the information that you have in the point wise jot down all of them and then uh, select the most easiest one that you can remember and you can write in the answer so it's, this is the way easiest way that you can actually you know divide your answers divide the informations and uh, take the key point that you can remember and so that you can score full five out of five out of five without having any hassle man okay so i'll suggest you to follow this format and of course select the easiest one there are many other points in the book there are many other informations in the book all of them i did not take all of them or you can say i did not count all of them because some of them i kept for the next part that is the importance part some of them i kept for the importance part and some of them i did not touch at all because for me those informations are quite difficult i cannot remember those informations or you can say i don't have this uh, memorizing tendency so i can't memorize them so that is the reason why i have omitted those information but there are few other informations which i did not include over here but i'll be using them for the roman 2 part that is for rope 1 b roman 2 where i have to write the importance of Rubin donut taper clear so i hope this part is clear for part b roman 1 how you have to select the points how you are going to divide your answers and how you are going to select the most easiest points so that you can answer them over here so in this way you can easily complete your answer within five right. to six uh, minutes talk, of course, uh, with have one b yeah. that is the life and uh, work now we will be focusing on the importance part so i hope you did remember when i mentioned that i did not include all the points under the life and import uh, under the life and work because i kept few of them for the importance part and few of them i haven't included because i thought those informations are quite difficult and i won't be able to remember them so i have omitted those information now these are the remaining informations which i felt like the easiest way that i can express the importance of robin donald tagore so the question marking is three marks and i have to answer this part within three to four minutes so these are the things that i have jotted down for uh, for remembering the importance part like the first one is about the knighthood ship he was knight he was uh, given the knighthood by king george and he has actually denounced this knighthood of king george because there was an attack at Ambrista where the in where the england army or the british army they have suddenly attacked the unarmed people at Ambrista and due to that incident Rabindranath tagore refused to accept the knighthood ship that was given to him by king george so this information is given in the book but this part is not mentioned that is to show his love for the country this is this actually shows how much he loved his country he used to love his country his patriotism is being focused over here so this information is being written by my is being written by me with to show the importance of robin donald tagore but i'm quite sure in today's uh, among the today's generation or you can say among the generation y and generation z we hardly show our love for our country so uh, we hardly do anything for our country if someone say i will be offering you this much amount so do you have to do this uh, you have to do this crime for me most of us of most of the generations z z uh, y and z will actually do that illegal work only to take the only to enjoy those money or only to enjoy those well so in present if I compare with present generation as well as Ravindana Tagore, so obviously denouncing a they were denouncing and the knighthoodship or denouncing an award from the King George at that time, 
uh, just to only because of the attract only because of the attack at Amrissa obviously show the love of Rabindranath Tagore so that is a part of the importance now the next importance which I felt is about the Asian is about the Nobel Prize is the first Asian to win the Nobel Prize first Asian as in from the entire in from the entire Asian continent he was the first Asian to win the Nobel Prize and that is only because of his Gitanjali so Gitanjali was a was a writing which was a you can say a it was actually a book of poems or a book of uh, rhythms which he has written after the death of his father then wife and his children so when he lost this uh, people so that then he has expressed his this feeling into Gitanjali which was at first written in Bengali then later on he has translated this into English so that the entire world comes to know about what about the pain that he went through so not only that after this after being translated into English the people who has read who read that Gitanjali so they all actually felt that this is a state the mental state that all the human beings go through this phase after losing the beloved one so that is why he was the one to, he was the first Asian to win the Nobel Prize which also honors uh, Bangladesh because the timeline which we came to know about Rovindranath Tagore he died before he died in 1941 so that time Bengal was this present Bangladesh was a part of Indian subcontinent so we were an Asian at that time so this is also one of the important part of Rabindranath Tagore. Then coming to this colloquial language, uh, this colloquial language is about the spoken language. So in those times, the written language was Sanskrit, but the spoken language was the dialogue, the dialogue or the, the the regular language that we speak with our loved ones or with our family members. So there there was a difference between the written language as well as the spoken language. Same as today also, uh, you will find the you will find in uh, we have this different sixty four districts and this sixty four districts we speak in different ways. There is some dis dissimilarity amongst our spoken language, but our written language is same. That is the normal form formal language that we write in Bengali but for speaking we speak in our own dialogue or we speak in our own divisional languages so in those times the written language was Sanskrit but the spoken language was totally different so what he thought Rabindranath Tagore thought that uh, he uh, he actually thought of changing this writing Sanskrit language this Sanskrit writings into the colloquial language so what did he do he has changed the writing techniques instead of writing on the Sanskrit he started to write based on the colloquial language that is the spoken language so that it becomes easier for people to read and write so that is the second that is the next importance of Rabindranath Tagore. The next importance which I felt is the Shantiniketan University because the main motive of Rabindranath Tagore to establish this university is that so that the students they will be they can learn practically as well as from the spiritually as well as the theoretically that means they will be going through the books plus they will be enjoying the nature spiritually and practically they will be also focusing on the real factors on the real practical work. As remember, he did not like the rules and regulations of the school, so he went for homeschooling. Why? Because he did not like the limited studies. So he wanted to establish a university so that where the students will not only study the limited way, they will not only go through the books, they will be uh, also closely related to the nature and they will learn along with the nature with the practical knowledge and the theoretical knowledge. Then the next one is his writing. He has written a couple of books poems, stories, novels. So these all have enriched the literature. Plus he has also composed a number of music. So these compositions and writings has all enriched the literature and music of early modern period of Bangladesh. Plus, it, uh, plus this also inspired many modern writers and musicians of the day. There are many modern writers and musicians who are actually inspired uh, from the writings and the compositions of Rabindranath Tagore, you will find many Rabindranath, many Rabindra Shongit which are still being played today, which are play, uh, still being heard today and also being taught today and based on this music we also enrich our dances. So that is how that is another importance of Rabindranath Tagore because it is also enriching our cultural activities of the country. So here I have mentioned around uh, five points for the importance part of Rabindranath Tagore but I have to answer only three of them. So I'll choose any three of them in the exam and the easiest way that I will be able to complete within three to four minutes and I can also easily remember that. So this is how I have to write the importance part. Say over here in the importance part, 
I have copied the word Gitanjali. I have copied the word Shanti Niketan University. So these are the two things that I have copied from Roman one. Under Roman one, I have uh, for life, I have for work, I have written uh, the, uh, I've written uh, Gitanjali as an example, Shanti Niketan as a university. But there, I did not mention that why was Gitanjali written. I just mentioned that Gitanjali is a part of his work, is an example of his work. I mentioned he established this Shanti Niketan University, but I did not mention why was it established or the importance of this university I did not mention that so I have copied this word but at the same time I have also went for further extension or you can say I have showed the importance of Rabindranath Tagore so now what happens by this Roman 1 and this Roman 2 is totally different under Roman 1 I have just focused on the life and work directly I wrote about the life and work without mentioning anything in details in Roman 2 I have included some examples I have also copied some of the work and then I have I have just extended. What did I do? I extended in my own way. I extended in my own way. I extended in my own way to show the importance of that literary figure. So my this Roman 1 and Roman 2, the answers are totally different. They are totally different from one another. And as a result, the examiner will be impressed and give me five marks and give me four mark why because my answer structure is correct i have given only five information three informations so these informations are totally different from one another the ones that i have copied from roman one i have extended them further and i've written them in my own way to show the importance part to show that this roman one and roman two are totally different so in that way i can not only manage the time plus i will also be able to uh, attract the examiner to give me the full mark so i hope your this part is also clear about the importance of Rabindranath tagore Okay, the next one we should be doing Islam, Islam where again we will be collecting the information from the book regarding the life and work so that we can answer them in Roman 1 for the life and work and then we will also uh, keeping some information so that we can use those for the importance part and some of them we are going to skip because those informations are quite difficult to remember. Okay, now this uh, the life which i have included the information for the life part is 1899 to 1976 that is the timeline of kazi nusri then he was born uh, at uh, in um, he was born at west bengal in india then his father died when he was only nine years old then uh, kazi nusri he couldn't finish his studies because he was very poor his father passed away he did not have enough money so that he could complete his education so he has worked in a couple of areas in a in a in a couple of areas uh, by acting a couple of roles. First of all, he worked as a muazzin, he worked as a cook at a tea, he worked as a cook at a tea stall. Then he has later he joined a letter group where he was one of the most important uh, singer of that group. Then uh, towards the end of his life, he lost his voice because he was given the slow poison when he was uh, imprisoned by the British and then he was given the nationality of Bangladesh. So these are the life informations which I have collected from the book and I found that very easy that for which I can remember quickly. Then the next part is about the work part where I came to know about the examples of his work including Baundular Atma Kahini, Mukti, Bidrohi, Ogni Bina, Dolon Champa. So these are the easiest examples that I can remember so I have jotted down. The next information which I came to know about Nazrul work is he was a journalist Analyst as well as he was also an editor for uh, one of them uh, he was also an editor so you can include the example of Nobujuk that was a that was a uh, magazine which was being edited by Kazino Zul Islam then Shromik Praja Shorazdol was an organization which was a political organization which was formed by Kazino Zul Islam and he has also published this weekly magazine known as Longol and in this weekly magazine he used to write about the he used to write about the problems that the member of Shromik Project Shoraj Dal used to feel or used to go through. So you can say that was a mouthpiece of Langol was the mouthpiece of Shromik Project Shoraj Dal. Then it is also uh, mentioned in the book that he has written a couple of poems and articles against the British 
uh, during the Khilafat movement and the non-cooperation movement. Then we also came to know that he joined the Bengal rejoinment of the British Indian Army during the First World War. So these are the other examples or other informations of the work that I have count that I have collected about Kazi Nuzul Islam from the book and the easiest one that I can remember. So you already know the question format that you have to answer five informations for to get five marks and it should be including both life and work and you also know the structure that I've shown in under Rubin Donald Tagore and we are going to follow the same structure you are going to collect either one two three or four information from life and the other way we are going to collect four three two or one information from the work so that we can get five out of five and we have to complete this answer within uh, five to six minutes now coming to the last part that is the importance of Kazi Nuzul Islam which is for three months and we have to write three informations we have to complete this answer by three to four minutes so these are certain informations which I kept uh, so that I can include them in the importance part and which will actually differentiate my answer from Roman 1 and from Roman 2 the first one which I wrote is about uh, he went to a hunger strike so here I mentioned that uh, he wrote many articles against the British during the Khilafat movement and non-cooperation movement so for which he was actually uh, he was actually imprisoned by the British for writing this anti-colonial writings he was imprisoned and when he was imprisoned there he found that the prisoners were being mistreated okay all the jail prisoners they were being mistreated and to stop those or to protect though or to protest he went to a 40-day hunger strike he went to a 40-day hunger strike and during this 40-day hunger strike the famous literary figure Rabindranath Tagore has telegram Kazi Nuzul Islam so Rabindranath Tagore by the time was already a famous literary figures of the country and he was actually he was telegramming another important person so this actually shows that how much important was Kazi Nuzul Islam to our literature where it is mentioned that give up the hunger strike our literature claims you in the telegram it was mentioned to uh, it was mentioned by Dominion Tagore to Kazi Nuzul Islam was that give up the hunger strike our literature claims you so this also recognized or gives a proof that Kazi Nuzul Islam was an important literary figure next uh, Kazi Nuzul Islam rhythmic poem that is Chol 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 it, it, uh, apart from uh, many other poems apart from many other writings this rhythmic poem Chol 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 used to inspire the freedom fighters of Bangladesh during the liberation war of 1971 so that is also an important part then he is the first one to introduce Bangla Ghazal Kazi Nuzul Islam is the first person to introduce Bangla Ghazal which enriches the music of early modern period and this Bangla Ghazal is still being continued in the today's uh, music so this is one of the most important contributions to the music of Bangladesh next he was he was awarded a Kushi Padok and many other awards so this award if you are awarding some person uh, it means that that person is actually valuable or that person is important to the country or for certain reason or for certain purposes so this Ekushi Padok was is one of the most important or prestigious award of the country and this award was given to Kazi Nosrud Islam so which reflects the importance of Kazi Nuzul Islam in Bangladesh. So this is how I have written my importance part to show that he is actually important and that is the reason these are the reasons that he is actually important plus these reasons are all are totally different from my life and work so it has no connection with my life and work the examiner is now impressed so he will be giving me my he will be giving me the full mark 5 out of 5 and 3 out of 3 so that is all about Kazi Nuzul Islam so we came to know about two literary figures today that is Rabindranath Tagore and Kazi Nuzul Islam I hope you are clear how you have to answer the question Questions, how you are going to collect the information from the book and uh, how you and which are the points that you will be you will uh, remember and how to make the difference between Roman 1 and Roman 2 to attract the examiner today we came to know about two literary figures that is Rabindranath Tagore and Kazin Nuzul Islam which I feel the two most important and the difficult literary figures but after uh, watching this video I don't think you will face any other further problems with this literary figure at the same time you will also know how to write the remaining six literary figures which is your homework so I hope you are going to complete this six literary figures the way that I have shown for lamp for this uh, Rabindranath Tagore and Kazin Nuzul Islam and of course let me know in the comment section that was all for the day 
I hope you have understood the video as well as you got an idea how you have to answer this topic one for the eight literary figures and I also believe that you are going to complete the homework that I have given to you. Plus, to get more such videos based on the syllabus, please subscribe my channel, This Name Madnesses. And of course, do press the bell icon so that you get the latest video or the latest information or the update of the channel. Hope to see you in my next video. Till then, stay happy, stay safe. Allah Hafiz. Assalamu Alaikum.